Amazing, amazing, amazing uh, fighters, and, and the fights that I've been just uh, absolutely fantastic. What do you think of just like the turnouts of the fights? Obviously, this is the fight capital of the world. There's been a lot of people just like walking by, everyone just enthusiastic about the fights. Just what do you think about all that? Well, hey, the, the PFL, we're, we're a leader in the sport. You know, we have fans from all over the world, here in the U.S., here in the fight capital. So uh, we'll, we'll be back to Vegas for sure. And building on those three weeks, like he's, or three events, like he said, what can the fans expect moving on forward? Hey, next up is the second half of the regular season. So, you know, the fighters, they earn their points. We'll be, uh, we'll be putting that leaderboard out there. And then the, the next round, those are the fights that will determine who gets into the postseason, those playoffs, and points matter. So what you're going to see fighters in the second half of the season, you're going to see like fighters strategizing against finishing in the first round, in the second round, to really ensure they're going to get into the playoffs because it's not just wins, it's points. So they're not going to leave it to the judges. That's the exciting part about the second half of the season. Favorite, favorite fight so far? I, I mean, all, I, all the fights, my, but I, I did think, you know, the OAM fight uh, was, was an incredible fight, you know, with, uh, with Shane. Uh, there was a lot of talk about that fight, and it just shows we have incredible, incredible fighters you know, in the PFL. Shane came over as a, as a major top prospect. You know, that one fight will not, you know, doesn't define Shane. He's now taking on the season. He's taken on the format. So, you know, I think you're going to see a different Shane in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the second fight. OAM is, is certainly solidifying his position as a, as a champion. So uh, I think that fight for me was, uh, was one, of, one of the best of the night. Talk about bringing in top-tier talent to PFL each and every year, just like Shane. Sure. I, well, we, ha we have a great team. I mean, Ray Seffo, our president of fighter operations, in identifying and signing and developing talent. We have uh, homegrown talent, homegrown stars, as well as other fighters from around the game, around the world, looking to compete on major platforms. You know, we distribute globally to 160 countries. We're on ESPN here in the U.S., and the competition is no joke. Some of the best fighters on the planet in the PFL, and you're seeing that. So when we develop talent from within the system, and then you know, a fighters come over from, from different organizations, it's eye-opening you know, uh, in terms of the caliber of athletes that we have. And then you know, the, the challenge of the format, it really is one of the toughest tests in MMA. Tell me about the outlook you talk about how we are on ESPN Plus. What about what other things? What other aspirations does the PFL have? Well, globally, you know, I mean, really, you know, we're really focused on global expansion. So beyond what we're doing here in the U.S., you know, we're really proud that this year we, we've launched four franchises. We at least announced four. You know, we have our Challenger Series. We have the season format. You know, we've announced and we have big plans for, for pay-per-view in our Super Fights division. You know, Jake Paul will make his debut in MMA. You know, just this week he announced uh, his next uh, um, uh, event or, or fight in boxing against Nate. And uh, what's to come is his debut in MMA. So those plans are being put in place to, you know, properly launch the PFL um, Super Fights division in pay-per-view. But there'll be a, a, a pay-per-view event before um, you know, Jake gets into the cage. So we're excited about those announcements this year. And then beyond that, PFL Europe up and running, our first uh, international regional league. And then, you know, to your question, there will be uh, six regional leagues uh, outside the U.S. Uh, within three years. And we'll be making an announcement in the coming, I would say, next two months on where the second one will be. Uh, it's already put in place, and we'll launch that in 2024. You think playoffs with those six other, other leagues coming together as one for the ultimate? Yeah, I mean, really, uh, the way we look at it is, 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 is building regional, you know, regional leagues and opportunities for fighters to become champions in those leagues from those countries and in-region competition. Then we'll have pan-regional competition among those international leagues. But the, the, those champions from PFL's international um, organizations will have now a pathway to PFL Global to compete against the likes of, of talent that's here in Vegas, our, our, our global, on the global stage, and to become world champions. So that's the system we're creating in the sport to advance, to grow it, give fighters more opportunity, and against top competition on major platforms. Uh, to expand a little bit on that, obviously Olivier said, hey, can we get PFL to Canada? 
Stevie, hey, wouldn't mind going back to Europe. That's I mean, right. Talk a little bit about some of those things that might be in the works in the playoffs this year. Yeah, no, we haven't announced where we're going. I mean, the playoffs this year will be in the United States for sure. Um, internationally for the championship, we'll be, uh, we'll be, we're having conversations outside the U.S. and different uh, opportunities. But as you see, our fighters, they fight not only for themselves in, in terms of furthering their career as professionals and becoming champions, but very much they're fighting for country. You know, they're representing their countries. We have 28 nations represented on the roster. And not only do they want to be champion, a world champion for themselves, but, but for their countries. And they're very passionate, like OAM. Bring the show to Montreal or bring the, you know, the, show, the show to Scotland. And you'll see us um, stage events in different parts of the countries. Not just our regional leagues, but we'll be taking the, the, the world championship to different markets around the world. We'll be taking super, super fights or pay-per-view division fights in different markets around the world. So more to come there. You mentioned the pay-per-view super division. I'd be remiss if I don't ask, is there any truth to talks that Jake Paul tried to get it, make it a twofer and have Nate do the MMA debut? Yeah, you, I mean, you heard directly, we heard directly from Jake, absolutely. I mean, we had that conversation as a potential two-fight deal and the focus, uh, you know, that made sense. Focus on boxing first. We'll see what happens after the fight. You know, we'll see if, uh, we'll, we'll see if, if, if Jake gets in the cage with Nate to potentially finish that score. But what I can tell you is, you know, when Jake makes the debut in MMA next year, it'll be against a major, major, major talent, major opponent. And then finally, I think uh, fans just want to know if they want to kind of beat the drum to bring PFL to their market, what are some things that you guys look out for in terms of making those decisions? Yeah, I mean, where the demand is. I mean, in terms of demand in the media marketplace, uh, in different regions, countries around the world, and obviously here in the U.S. So uh, we, we've definitely, uh, you know, we, we're an East Coast-based organization in New York City, but we're, we're, we're happy to be out here in Vegas. Uh, the, the second half, we're in Atlanta, um, you know, this coming um, June. And then uh, we'll see you in the playoffs. We're, we're, we're definitely going to take it to a new market in the playoffs. So, you know, more to come on those details. Is Jake sort of working his own time frame? Or are you guys working with him to, to sort of set a time frame when you want to see him? When you say next year, is that just sort of the, the running goal? Or are you guys kind of working in conjunction, conjunction with him to see when the best time for him to do it, to keep nudging him to make, make the day? Yeah, I, I mean, there's no nudging needed. I mean, he's, he's committed. Not only is he, uh, you know, an exceptional committed athlete or, you know, as, uh, as it relates to boxing, but, but he's preparing, he's doing the work, you know, beyond boxing to uh, further develop his game in, uh, in MMA, and he will make his debut next year. So those plans, you know, are in the works, and, uh, you know, there are joint conversations on, you know, when's, when, who's the right opponent, what's the right timing, but I can tell you that uh, he, he's, he's, he's excited about it, and that'll happen next year. Do we have any sort of update on Kayla Harrison when we might see her again? Yeah, we'll be that? making an announcement. Kayla, you know, she's, uh, this was the first season that Kayla was, was not in, in, the, in, the, in the season format division. She will, uh, she will be on pay-per-view. We'll be making that announcement very soon as to who her opponent is, when that fight is, but that'll happen this year. And I know when we, we'd seen Ray, I think after PFL won, you know, a lot of the talk people are still talking about Francis Ngannou if the PFL was still interested. Is that is there still is there even still a possibility Are you guys in any talks with him or is he kind of off doing whatever he's doing off to the side? No, hey, listen, Francis made it very clear he's he's gonna box and uh, you know, we're excited to see, you know, how those plans materialize. We have a very close relationship and more to come on next steps with Francis related to MMA. Else, guys, just a Last brief one. one. Okay. Uh, there was a little bit of talk from Kayla about, you know, concern, getting the two fights in this calendar year and all that. Can you just speak to that on, you know, making sure she does get that fulfilled in 2023? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, Kayla, she, she's ready to go. That's what we love about her. And, uh, you know, her, her pay-per-view uh, next matchup, it'll be a big fight. You know, it'll be the fight that fans want to see.